Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you my technique for dust proofing curios. Whether it's wooden ones like this, this style right here called Detolf, or even something like this display case. They all still seem to have the same problem that lets dust get in. There's usually a gap somewhere, usually at the top of the glass. Even the hinge side is a problem. Just look at the dust that gets in here. It's terrible. Now for most of the gaps, I have found this stuff right here really seems to do the trick. This foam weather strip seal. The hinge side usually works best with this, this rubber edging. And I'll leave links in my description so you can get both of these off of Amazon if you want to get the exact same products. Let me show you how simple it is to put this stuff on. Okay, the foam seal is pretty easy to use. Pretty much just sticking on about where you want to start. Figure out about how long you want it to be. You can measure it or you can just eyeball it. Then you simply cut it. Uh oh, it's rolling down. Ah. <laughs> It'll roll back up. <laughs> then you just adjust it, adjust it, uh, get it back how you like it. And then you just peel off this end right here, which is no big deal. But I'm trying to get it to where it's hitting that on this little hinge piece. And pretty much flush with where the glass is going to go. Alright. And here, as you can see, it went on pretty good. And it lines up to where this piece right here is not hitting this. So I close it, just like that. There we go. Now on this particular curio, I sort of had to piece it to work around this, this right here. But it's the same concept, it just sticks on right here. This one had a good gap on the opening side. So I run a piece all the way down it. And you don't have to, but I put one at the bottom also. And here I left a gap for this piece. But the hinge side is with that rubber stuff. I'll show you how that goes on next. Now this stuff right here works great for the hinge side and it goes on pretty easy as well. And it does not have any adhesive in it. Simply get started at the top. To figure out how long it needs to be, just give it a little bit of a pull. Make sure you give yourself a little excess. Simply cut it. And finally, start working it all the way down the edge of the glass, all the way down to the bottom. This stuff stays on really good. And you know, I don't really care for the kind that's got adhesive on the inside because that's not falling off. And once you get down to the very bottom, you can just trim off the excess to get the line up. See, that's going on there really good. Okay, looks like I got lucky and that one lined all the way up. Uh, like I said, if you had any excess, you could just cut it right off with some scissors. If it's a little bit short, you can tug it a little bit since it's made out of rubber, but as long as it's close, it should be fine. Or if you came way too short, just cut another little piece and stick it on there. Now, this should just close. Yep. That seems to close the gap, mostly. And it's never going to be perfect, but 
that'll hold out a whole lot more dust than having nothing at all. Okay, looks like that one went on pretty good. That's gonna keep dust out a whole lot better than having a big old gap right there. So there you have it. I hope this uh, technique works out pretty good for you. Like I said, you use the foam strip primarily on tops, door sides, uh, hinge sides are, seems to be best with that, uh, that rubber U-shaped trim. And I'll leave the links in the description. And hopefully you can apply these techniques to keep dust out of all your own curios. Thanks for watching.